battle against the coronavirus continues on two separate fronts. The fight to protect those most vulnerable and to try and slow the spread of the illness. Yeah, but there is a separate push to try to limit the economic impact from this virus. Channel 2 anchor Jonathan Martinez live in our newsroom with more. Jonathan. Yeah, guys, the dangers and impact of the coronavirus are being felt across the entire country right now, and the fight against that illness seems far from over. As the coronavirus continues to spread, President Trump makes a rare visit to Capitol Hill, meeting privately with Republican lawmakers looking for a cure for the country's economic ills. Uh, there's uh, a great feeling about doing a lot of things, and that's one of the things we talked about. The market's opening higher today after promises of a stimulus package. But with Congress off next week, there are questions about what can be accomplished immediately. For this type of sharp downturn, you need things that are much more speedy, where a large amount of money gets to people quickly. Earlier in the day, after meeting with the president, executives with the nation's largest health care companies announcing co-pays for coronavirus testing would be waived. Right now, there are more than 700 confirmed cases in more than 30 states and growing. This is literally a matter of uh, life and death. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo is calling in the National Guard and has created a containment area centered on a cluster of confirmed cases in New Rochelle. Across the country, schools, conferences, music festivals, and even sporting events continue to cancel or alter events. Last week when I heard that idea, it seemed like an overreaction. Today, it seems like the obviously correct choice to make. And some good news on the testing front. The Health and Human Services Secretary says another 4 million test kits should be available by the end of this week. Guys?